So I see we have a new patient here today. It's so lovely to meet you. So it's your first time here at this office. Okay, great. Oh, you moved here a couple months ago. Fantastic. And you decided to get your eyes checked. I love that. Okay. So this is just going to be a checkup. Did you speak with Sherry, our secretary? And you gave her your photo ID and your insurance card? Okay, so you're all set with her. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions, standard questions, very simple, very easy. Okay, so let's start off with the easiest question. What is your full name? Okay. Date of birth. When was the last time you visited an optometrist? Two years ago. I do recommend that you get your eyes checked annually, so I do hope to see you back here in a year. Sound good? Okay. Uh, contact lens wear? Yes. Okay. Um, do you switch your contact lenses to glasses from time to time? Yes. Great. Yes, it is very important to give your eyes a rest from contact lenses. Okay, so I just want you to give me a yes or no with these uh, questions, and you can tell me whether or not you have experienced any of these. Okay. Double vision. Dry eyes. Yes. Eye pain. Blurry vision. That can't be yeah, helped with your lenses. Okay. Uh, loss of peripheral or side vision. Uh, have you experienced any halos or circles around lighted objects? Okay. Twitching of the eyes or the eyelids. Flashes or streaks of light. Red eyes. Yes. Discharge, crusting, or excessive tearing. Yes. Okay. Swelling of any part of your eyes. Droopy lids, floaters, yeah, like spots in your visual field or strings or shadows, anything of that sort. Okay. Okay, so now I just want some uh, family history. Um, does any of your family have diabetes? Your mother has type 2. Cataracts, glaucoma, heart disease, no. uh, any thyroid condition? Okay, so your mother has hypothyroidism and you have hypothyroidism as well. Okay. So, medications you're taking? Synthroid for your thyroids. Okay. Okay, so that was easy, right? Okay, so I think we are done with all of these questions. So the first test is going to be very easy. Okay, I just want to check your peripheral vision. So basically, I just want you to look at my third eye. Okay, and your peripheral vision is a vision that you see on the sides without moving your head. Okay, so we are going to start off by covering your left eye. So I just want you to cover up your left eye using your hand. And I want you to, without moving your head from side to side, I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Okay, sound good? Okay. Great. Excellent. Okay, so now, just put your hand over your other eye, just cover this eye, cover your right eye, and we're going to do the same thing, okay? Great. Excellent. Awesome. Yes. Great. So, looking good so far. 
So how about we do that without covering any of your eyes? This is going to be easy. Okay. So. Yes. Excellent. Great. So. Very good. So. You passed that test with flying colors. The next test that I would like to do is the reading test. So, you have your contact lenses on, correct, right now? Okay. So, you can leave them on for this test. Uh, but I am going to ask you to take off your contact lenses after. And, yeah, we'll just, you can put on your glasses. Okay. Use your premium glasses with you. Okay, great. Okay, so this is called the Jagger test, and basically we have 11 lines here, and I want you to look at all these lines and tell me which one you can read, the smallest print that you can read, and I want you to read it to me. Okay, so let's start off with 11 through 7, and if all these look pretty easy, we will look at the other ones. Okay. So that is 11 through 7. Okay, so move on over. Okay, so 6 through 1. Which one is the one that you can read? The, the smallest print that you can read that isn't blurry. Okay, line 2. Okay, can you read that to me? Mm hmm. Fantastic. Okay. This just tests your nearsightedness. So, number two is pretty darn good. So, I'm happy about that. Okay. Okay, so actually before I take off your glasses, I was wondering if you have ever been tested for color deficiency. No? Okay, so I have the test here, so we're going to do that really quickly for you. This is what it looks like. It's very, very simple. It's actually quite fun. This is the Izahari's test for color deficiency. So basically, we have these plates, that's what they're called. They look like this, and what I want you to do is read off the number to me. If you can read off the number, then chances are you are not colorblind. Okay, so what is this number? These are kind of tricky. Do you see anything? Actually, if you were colorblind, you would see the number five. So, uh, to my uh, eye, to my eyes, I see nothing, and you see nothing as well. How about these here? Same thing. So we also have these here, and these are a little bit different. 
basically what I want you to do. There's two X's as you can see. XA and XB. I want you to trace your line starting with XA all the way to XB. And I'll show you here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this line, I want you to trace it all the way to XB. But since I already showed you, let's try it with this one. You can use your fingers and trace it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So, how about we try it with this one? Great. Those are fun, huh? So, it's safe to say you are not colorblind. So, that is excellent. That's a fun little test that I love to do. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take off your contact lenses. So I actually have this little travel case for you. And I have some of these. going to open this up for you. Do you use these at home? You have a different brand that you use. I do recommend this brand. Which one do you use? Okay. So I'm just going to put some solution. Okay. So you can just pop your contact lenses in there. Okay. Excellent. So let me just screw them back on here. Screw the lids on. Put these off to the side. And you have your glasses. Okay. So I just want to take a look at your glasses really quickly. Okay. Are you um, getting new glasses today? These just look a little bit scratched up, but... Okay. You just might. You'll save that for another day. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay. Um, actually, I want you to go ahead and put your glasses on. Okay. Great. Excellent. Okay. So, my glasses are on. And we're going to do the cover test. So, I have this guy here. And what I want you to do is cover up your left eye and then cover up your right eye. Uh, you see those letters there? Yes. Well, I want you to read off. And let me just get you to come a little closer. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to take this. I want you to cover your left eye. And I want you to read the line above the red line. So, number eight. So try your best, and I want you to read that off to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So I want you to do the same with 
to go ahead and read number 10, which is the line, two lines below the red line. Okay, so covering up your left eye once again. I want you to read that off to me. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so cover up your right eye. And read off number 10. Once again. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Great. Okay, so do you think, covering up your left eye, do you think you can read off number 11, the smallest print? Do you think you can read it off? Okay, try it out for me. P, mm -hmm. E, yeah, C. O, O, C. Great. You did an excellent job. Okay. Try it out with your covering up your right eye. Mm hmm. Excellent. O, C, F. Great. You did a fantastic job. Okay. So, the cover test went really well. Okay. So now, I'm just going to take off your glasses really quickly. We are actually going to be putting in some drops. These are going to dilate your eyes a little bit. And um, we're going to check your eyes with my little pen light here. So, I'm just going to check the insides of your eyes, and this is going to be, it's not going to be entirely uncomfortable, but it is going to apply a little bit of pressure, since it is opening up your pupils, so, okay, just be ready for that. that. So I just want you to blink a couple of times. Okay. You can kind of feel your eyes warming up a little bit. Yeah, that's normal. So what I'm going to do is I want you to once again look at my third eye and I am going to just check your eye a little bit. Okay. Now, I want you to actually follow the light, okay? So, just with your eyes, not with your head. So, don't move your head at all. Just follow the light with your eyes, okay? Now, I want you to cover up your left eye, and also just look straight at me, straight at my third eye. And I'm just going to give another quick check.
Okay. So I want you to cover up your right eye. Again, once again, a little closer. Continue looking at my third eye. I do not want to blind you with this light. Okay. You can close your eyes for a couple of seconds. was that? That wasn't too bad, right? Okay. So, your eyes are looking pretty good so far. Okay. So, now, we are going to do the lens test. This is a good way to figure out if we need to change your prescription. So um, we are going to do that. This is sort of the manual way of checking whether you need a prescription. There's also another test that we're going to be doing as well that's also going to tell me um, if any of your eyes are weak, if there's any changes whatsoever. Okay. So. Let me just get out my lenses here. So we just have several different lenses here. And it's just a quick little test. So I'm just going to put you a little closer there. For this lens test, what I want you to do is cover up your left eye first. I want you to focus on line number seven and I'm going to be showing you a couple of lenses and I want you to tell me which lens is much clearer. Okay, so here we go. Lens one. Lens two. that again for you. Okay, we have lens one. Lens two. Lens one. Okay. So lens one again. And lens Lens one again, lens three, lens one, okay, so lens one, lens four, lens one again. And lens four. Okay, excellent. So, we're going to do the same, but I want you to cover up your other eye. So, I want you to just go ahead and cover up your right eye. Okay, you ready? Okay. So, we have... Lens one, lens two, lens two, okay, we have lens two, lens three, Let's try that again, okay, lens two, Lens three. Lens two. Okay. Lens. 
ones too. And ones four. Try that again. Okay. Ones two. And ones four. Okay, so ones two. So So let me write that down. Okay, excellent. So let me just write the results of your lens test. So your left eye was lens one, and your right eye was lens two. So now we're pretty much all set. We actually just have two more tests, and these are actually really fun. So we have two different machines. We have a tenometer and the autorefractor. The tenometer is actually going to test you for glycoma. Now, back in the OG days, uh, the test wasn't that fun because it could actually blow a puff of air into your eyes. And I don't know about you, but when I was a child, I hated that test. But we actually have a new machine, and you don't have to worry. There is going to be no puff of air going into your eye, so I know, sigh of relief, right? Okay, so that's actually going to test the, um, it's going to give me a measurement of the pressure inside your eye. So we're just going to do that, and also measures the curvature of your eye, and also checks for stigmatism, as well as how well your eye focuses. So we have that test, and then we're also going to the autorefractor. And, um, I don't know if you remember that test as a child, but, um, it's pretty much just an image that you're going to see, um, hot air balloon, I don't know if you remember that test, but what I want you to do is pretty much, uh, just focus on the hot air balloon, it's going to blur out, it's going to, um, get a little more clear and crisper, it's going to move to different locations, and pretty much, that's just a fun little test, but what we are doing on the other side is actually taking a good look at the inside of your eye, so. Okay, so I think we're all set, so we're just going to go ahead and start off uh, with the tenometer test. Now, with that test, I do need to put some eye drops in your eye, and this is going to sting just a little bit. And I do apologize ahead of time. Um, some people have more discomfort than others. I guess it just depends on their pain level. But what I can say is that it will only last for about three seconds. Okay. So this is just like a yellow solution. It's actually going to tinge your eyes just a little bit. And you will have some slight blurriness. Nothing crazy. You can still drive home safely. But... There will be a sense of blurriness, but nothing, yeah, nothing over dramatic or anything. Okay. So, uh, look up for me. Okay. So, let's start off with your left eye. Okay. So, let's do your right eye. Okay. So, I know, I know. It stings just a little bit. So, Blink for me, blink, 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 blink. Okay, let me just clean off any excess. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now uh, I want you to come with me. We're going to go to the other room and we're going to use the tenometer. Okay? So, you ready? Okay, let's go. So what I want you to do is put your head forward and your chin on the chin rest and your forehead on the band. Okay? So, glycoma is actually one of the leading causes of blindness. So, that is why it is so very important to get tested. Um, so, you're just going to see a few beams of light. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, 
I just want you to just stay on the chin rest and keep your head still and the machine is just going to kind of run by your eye and you're going to feel the light and it's going to feel a little bit like pressure but um, nothing too crazy, okay? You're doing excellent. Fantastic. It's okay, yes, it's totally fine if you blink. Okay. Great. You did such a wonderful job. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and go on to our next test. This is going to help me take a better look at the inside of your eye and a better look at your overall vision as well. And once again, I want you to put your head forward and your chin on the chin rest and your forehead on the band. Okay. Excellent. So I want you to focus on the pictures shown. I want you to follow the hot air balloon. Tell me when it appears blurry and let me know when you can see the hot air balloon more clearly. Just a simple test, you will notice that this machine makes a lot of noises. Do not be alarmed, that is completely normal. Okay. Excellent. You're doing great. Awesome. And you are all set with this test as well. Good job. So, how was your visit here? It was good. Glad to hear that. Okay, so, I'm actually going to write you a prescription because your eyes are dry. So, I'm actually going to write you two prescriptions for two separate eye drops. The first eye drop I want you to put on in the morning, two drops in the morning, okay? Mm-hmm. You like my little eyeball pad there. So two drops in the morning. Okay. And with these drops, you cannot put your drops directly on your contact lenses. So you have to have bare eyes. Okay. I'm going to give you another eye drop. And this one, I want you to put on during the day. Whenever you feel discomfort. And this is going to help bring back moisture to your contact lenses. Now, um, which contact lenses do you use? The uh, Air Optics Day and Night. Let me just write that down. My chart. Air Optics Day and Night. How long have you been using this brand? For about five years, okay. I actually don't think that we need to change your contact lenses at all. I actually recommend this brand to my clients, and I'm actually wearing Air Optics on my eyes right now, so I don't think it's a matter of the brand of contact lenses or that you wear contact lenses. I just think that you just have dry eyes and you just need to keep your eyes uh, hydrated, so drops will do. Uh, and also, if you find that your eyes are super, super dry, we can also uh, prescribe you an ointment that you can use at night. Uh, would you like that? Yes? Okay. And that's pretty much optional. You know, whenever, whenever you feel discomfort, you'll know. And you don't have to wear the ointment every night because I know it's kind of heavy on the eyes and it's kind of uncomfortable. But if you feel like you need it, then I do suggest using the ointment. And do you sleep with a fan or anything like that? I ask my patients all the time because I do find that that is a big factor. And I sleep with a fan myself because I need I need that noise. But um, it can definitely dry out your eyes. And if you sleep with your contacts, that could be definitely a problem. And it can also be the cause for your redness. Yeah. So that's... 
room it too for you there. But your overall vision, nothing has really changed with your vision. Um, your left eye is still stronger than your right eye. So, um, let me just put that down. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like you need to change your glasses at all. If you want to change the look of your glasses, um, we have a very good selection of glasses. So, yeah, we have some really nice, really nice brands. We do have Chanel glasses. If you're in, yeah, yeah, if you are in the market for Chanel, then we have Chanel glasses. Okay. So, you have any questions? No? Okay, so, excellent, excellent. I do have your contact lenses, don't want to forget those. Uh, and you're wearing your glasses. You can switch out right now if you would like. And um, you can actually take this solution, because I know you were saying you were out of the solution that you typically use, so you can go ahead and take this complimentary. Um, also, I do want to mention, if you find that um, just using a simple solution like this doesn't quite clean your contact lenses, then I would definitely suggest using something like this. This is the Clear Care Plus. It has 3% hydrogen peroxide, and it's a cleaning and disinfectant solution. So it's for soft and RGP lenses, and you have soft lenses. And this is actually a newer version, which I absolutely love. Um, and it has a hydro, hydro glide in it, which really helps to moisturize your contact lenses, which is something that you definitely need. And it comes with this as well. So what you want to do is you want to put your contact lenses in here and you will see that it will start to bubble up and start cleaning your contact lenses really well and just have your contact lenses sit there for about six to eight hours this is nothing like this so um this will actually stain your eyes like crazy so that's why the solution needs to just sit there for about six to eight hours before you can actually put your contact lenses directly on your eyes Okay, so I think that's all that we have to cover today. Um, you can go see Sherry at the desk and she will set you up for your next appointment, which will be in a year unless you want to come back and get some new glasses. So, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Okay, bye-bye. Silly me, I almost forgot. So, our new patients get a complimentary keychain. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's actually quite lovely. So, that's what it looks like here. And, it is the inside of your eye. <laughs> you can see that there. Let me shine light into it. It's actually pretty awesome. So that is for you. You can give this to somebody if you like. <laughs> I know Christmas is over, but last minute gift. So I didn't want to forget about giving you this cute little gift. So that's for you. And once again, thank you so much for coming to this office. And um, I'm excited to have you as a patient. So thank you so much. Okay.